Let me give you a bit of context. AST Space Mobile is a company which plans to build the first and only space-based cellular broadband network. But what does that mean? Cellular broadband refers to the 4 and 5G connections you use on your smartphone and space-based refers to you getting those connections from space. From satellites in space to be precise. And that space-based network would be a huge accomplishment since that it would allow anyone anywhere to connect to the interwebs. Currently, only the people living close enough to a broadband tower have the privilege of connecting to the interwebs. And according to ASTS, about 50% of the current global population does not have this privilege. ASTS looks to change that, but they are probably still years out from a fully working space-based broadband network. 2024 might be the first year that we see revenues hit the ASTS books, at least according to the CEO of ASTS. And until 2024, while well, getting the satellites up to space will be the name of the game. And Blue Walker 3, the satellite shown on the screen right now, will be the next step for ASTS. Blue Walker as a satellite should be very similar to the satellites that ASTS plans to use for the entire constellation, but it is still an experimental satellite. And as you can imagine, once Blue Walker 3 is in space, a lot of the risk around ASTS will cease to exist. Hence why so many ASTS investors are super hyped for the summer launch of Blue Walker 3. It will mark the end of an era of uncertainty, but it will also be the beginning of a new era, an era of hyper growth. And that is the context of this video, and that is the context of this news report. Now let's get into it. Experimental license. You see, for all the testing the ASTS plans to do with Blue Walker 3, well, for all the testing, they do need a license. In short, the Federal Communications Commission will need to give their stamp of approval to ASTS. And that stamp of approval has just been received. The Federal Communication Commission, or FCC, has given ASTS an experimental radio station construction permit and license. Important to note here is that the license covers Blue Walker 3 space to ground testing in the United States. The company is still planning for a summer 2022 launch of Blue Walker 3 and that this license together with other testings around the world will enable some of our most important testing right here in the United States. Under this experimental license, ASTS is allowed to run a couple of different radio stations, of which two will be based in Midland, Texas, two located in Kapolei, Hawaii, of which one is a mobile station, the other one is a fixed station, another mobile station in the Texas area, and two stations in the New York area. My best guess is that this range of stationary but also mobile targets all throughout the US is useful for testing the capabilities of their network in all kinds of environments. I would also assume, thanks to for example the Doppler effect, that sending a signal to a stationary target is way different than sending one to a fast moving target. And I would also assume that having different stations at different geological locations allows for sending signals over fast ranges of distances. And it should also allow for a way larger operating window. And subsequently, it should allow for more operational time per day. So those are some of the reasons why I believe ASTS needs multiple testing locations in the US but also around the globe. Of course, attached to this FCC approval are a couple of special conditions. The first is of course that ASTS needs to notify the FCC of the launch of the satellite, but also of the eventual termination of transmission. Second, a been received of a construction warning or in dumb language when two satellites might come too close to each other, ASTS needs to take all steps to mitigate this risk. Third, ASTS needs to keep the FCC up to date on all the frequencies they use, but also whenever they stop using a frequency. Fourth, this is only an experimental license. No commercial services are allowed to happen under this permit. And some other rules which are for sure really interesting, but not life-changing from an investment perspective. So to summarize real quick, this license is what will allow ASTS to finally test their technology, to finally get one step closer to full operational capabilities. This license will not allow for any revenues to occur in the US and for that the company will need additional FCC approvals, which the company is actively pursuing and which I believe will follow in due time. 
However, this is really important. As far as I'm aware, this was the last regulatory hurdle for the Blue Walker 3 launch. Maybe we might just see a way different company at the end of this year, hopefully with a way different share price attached to it too in part thanks to this FCC approval. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. Peace.